My name is Florian Gebhardt. I'm Professor of Surgery, Director of the Department of Orthopedic Trauma at Ulm University. Um, Besides that, I'm very active in the EO Foundation about teaching purposes and I like the arms. As we all know, image quality depends on the amount of soft tissue or the contrast between high density objects like bone or metal. Um, the image quality in this system is so brilliant, like in the radiology department where you just use the collimator and you get nice images. So far we couldn't do it interoperatively. But today I'm so a little radiologist and can get the most information out of these images and the, the by the end of this procedure, I get a very high contrast um, image about bony structures which, which I need for surgery. During this uh, type of surgery, I needed the imaging for positioning of this uh, bone anchor device. And as you can see here, this is a very little screw which has a 5.5 millimeter diameter. And uh, we can see it very clearly in this very nice and bright images and it was important to see the exact position to be sure that the tendon is placed to the right area of the radius. The question about the field of view, it's a, it's a really big step forward for getting more information, having a, a bigger field of view. And this is I, I like very much. We can use collimators with the system because as we have long bones, we need a long exposition of the bone, not a square one, so I can use the collimator and then I can rotate uh, the collimated image aligned with the patient position. So the image in front of me has the same alignment as the uh, extremity which is uh, in front of me for surgery. So I have the best comparison between what I'm doing surgically and what I can see on the images. And comparing to other systems, these uh, long distance I can play is much more preferable than a concentric uh, collimator system where I can only see a spot of the bone so I can see a large portion of the bone which is very um, important for uh, checking the axis. About asymmetric collimator use this makes really sense because at the first shot sometimes you're not really centered and there's one end of the image you would have more displayed. You can see it here on the left side so I would like to have more displayed on the lower right side and then I can use the asymmetric collimator to get more image information in this area. The motorization of the system is a, a very good um, tool to speed up interoperative imaging and to uh, provide precise imaging. The other thing is that when I use the motorization, I can control it from the OR table which reduces talk to other persons and describe what they have to do because I know what I have to do. And the other thing is, which I really like most is the memory function. So usually if you have a spine or long bone procedure, your basic imaging is AP and lateral. So I can do in a dry setting before I drape the patient, a very good AP projection means including tilting to cranial or caudal and a very good lateral position. Then I store this to the system. I drop the patient and when I come back with my CM during surgery, I can recall the stored AP and lateral position. And this is a huge speed up process because I don't have to adjust so often the system. So motorization is a really a must. One thing is that by using the motorization I can very precisely control the movement of the system and using the laser crosshair I can precisely adjust the system to my anatomical area. It's of great importance that the system is available, or is available with the subtraction system so we can do a DSA. Uh, because we can share it with other departments. And in trauma care, we often have patients with vascular injuries. So with one CRM system, we can address the vascular injury, as we can do an interoperative angiography. 
So get the, le the leakage of the si vascular system and the vascular surgeon will fix it. And with the same system we go on for uh, uh, orthopedic surgery treating the, the fractures. Any type of surgery where you can rely on 2D images with all the improvements of the system, better image quality, larger field of view, collimator system, rotating the images, uh, you can address any type of trauma surgery, orthopedic surgery with that CRM.